I'm here. I know it's dark. It's dark because it's early in the morning. For a reason, I want to share with you today what I call my golden hour, my VIP red carpet. Have you ever walked on a red carpet as a VIP? No, neither have I, but I'm gonna show you how to do it every single day. I've been doing it since I was 18 years old, roughly, okay? I'm 54 now, and it works. It works by giving you the edge. I'm gonna take you on a journey that's not only gonna put you in the 1% fitness, it's gonna put you 1% mind space. I am gonna open up your attic space in your head. Most people have got about 15% capacity more, and I'm gonna show you, and this is not about training. Not all about training, this is about life. I'm gonna show you how to increase your productivity. You ready? I've got three beautiful little points to share with you that will allow you to stack habits going forward. Now I stumbled across this by accident really. I'm 18 years old, I'm 450 miles away from home, starting university and I'm a light sleeper. I get up in the morning, I'm frustrated. Why can't I sleep a little bit more? I would walk around the grounds. I would then start to do a little bit of extra training. And this introduced me to what I call my overtime training that I'll share in a second. But then I started to meet people around the campus and they were reading. They had those funny old 19 sort of late 80s headphones in. What's going on here? People were learning languages, but they weren't doing language language courses, people are reading other types of books. So I started to see, ah, this is where I can find my special time to increase my productivity that nobody else knows. My secret training, my rebuilding of the six billion dollar man. Or was it million or billion? I can't remember. Love the bloody show anyway. Right, before I dive in and give you these three points, I want you to remember, look, I'm on a mission on YouTube. I want to engage with, help over one million people to get to the 1% Club for fitness, VO2 for their age group. But I also want to get them to open up and be in the 1% productivity. Open up that mindset, change it. No matter what age people are, there is still productivity. I'm a guy that was pronounced dead at the side of the road in a car crash. I suffer from ulcerative colitis and I still engage every fucking day head on. You can do the same by subscribing to the channel if you've landed here for the first time. Okay, point number one to the red carpet is what I call the buzzer time. What's the buzzer time? It's the end of the game, isn't it? Boom, okay, game over. And that buzzer time is the time that you need in the morning to shower, to commute, to walk the dog, to do whatever chores, tasks you need to do to be productive for your day, to support the pillars of your life. Now, this beats the myth that you need a structured workout in the morning. Most people think, I haven't got an hour, I haven't got 90 minutes. I don't care if you've got 10 minutes only. That time is really important. And if you can spin on your bike, this becomes overtime, because you're going to train later. This is your extra time, okay? Extra time that nobody else is prepared to do. This is your secret time. But in this time, you're starting to be positive about the day. And let me tell you this, if you roll out the red carpet in the first hour of the day when you wake up, it becomes very difficult to add negativity in during the day. The concept of moving our fitness, losing weight, being more productive is normally associated with experts telling you, you gotta remove all the shit from your life. That's true, but if you do that too fast, what will happen is you will deprive yourself. Come on, you're a living, breathing animal. You want to do things that you know you're not supposed to do. So flip that and add in positivity. If you add in positivity, negativity just pisses off on its own over time if you stick at it. So any time works, okay? Now, point number two, you use that time to multitask. And what you do is you use it to say, say you're gonna spin, listen to a podcast, you're gonna learn something new, go back to a hobby that you may have had. And what this does is this increases the cognitive interaction. This time becomes precious. This time is your time. You may want to learn a new language. Christ, I've been learning English for over 50 years. How now, brown cow? I'm getting better, haven't I? <laughs> but the thing is, you can learn things in that time. You can multitask because you don't have to train. Many times when I would get up, I would be frustrated. Why can I not sleep? Until I saw, hey, this is my special time. This is my superpower time. I can learn new topics, I can get ahead of work because I'm much more productive in the morning. Rather than sitting on my ass watching shitty TV, do something that adds value. 99% of other people won't do that, but you will, okay? Now this rolls into number three. And number three is really important, the pillars of life. So once you've hit that buzzer time, you do your shower, you get on your way to work or whatever it is. But number three, you add value to the life pillars. So you do a task 
That's the simplest way to start thinking. You do something that's extra around the house. It might be you do a little bit of cleaning, you take the bins out, you just do one thing and you don't say anything about it. You do it without expecting. Look at me, I took the trash cans out at 6.30. It doesn't fucking matter, okay? You do it without wanting to receive. Gratification is really important, but give it, okay? But give it in tasks. And what will happen is, this will allow you to build and stack these habits. You will be doing things almost secretly. Okay, like the secret magic fairies that seem to come in the middle of the night and clean things up. That's your fucking partner doing that. You're gonna do a little bit more. It's not all about the bike, but the thing is by doing this, you positively stack. Now you know about stacking habits and you know about the time it takes. 99% of other people will not commit to it over a longer period of time. But if you do it for a week, you'll do it for a month. If you do it for a month, you'll do it for a year. And if you do it for a year, you'll do it like me. For 40, 50 years. It can be done and it's super simple. So create your buzzer time. Buzzer time means that's it, game over, you get on with your day. But you've stacked even 10 minutes, 20 minutes of positivity. You roll that into more than just training. And this over time training or learning is promoting you as a human being. It may even help you get a promotion at work or even a new job. And number three, you just do something. You become this silent little fairy around the house or whatever it is that adds value to your pillars of life, whatever they are. And all of that, my friends, generates a much powerful connection with the why. My why is still lying in the bed. My wife and my daughter. Everything I do, my fitness, my productivity, goes back to them. So in the days when I don't want to set a buzzer time, I think of them and I get my ass in gear. Hey folks, I know this is a short video, but I know it can help you move forward. If you want a little bit more from me, there's a link in the description. Get a copy of my Bulletproof Manifesto. In that, I've put together my story of how I have created Bulletproof Cycling Club and my own journey. Because in those 30 years I've coached, I see five key things that people make mistakes with. You will find the answers to them in that free, yes, a Scotsman giving away a free gift. You can listen to that on your bike in your golden hour. There you go. There's a challenge for you. Hey, you keep spinning, keep smiling. Click that link uh, because it won't stay free forever. I'll see you in the next video.